Roughly one week ago, all the Orca FPV-1 goggles stopped working. They just automagically bricked themselves after the 29th of the April 2023. Let's talk what happened and let's speculate why. Because this is kinda important question. Why? Oh fuck. Uh, there is a big drama right now happening in the in the FPV community since the 29th of April. Wow. I'm not really like that much into observing what's happening with the Orca. Even if we open my uh, main YouTube page, uh, if I want to see what's happening in the hobby, I have to look for it because there is basically no FPV related content in my YouTube feed right now. From time to time, I'm like seeing uh, what's there, especially before the live stream, because I want to see what's happening on the market and uh, like, you know, maybe there will be an interesting topic uh, to see. Of course, uh, the biggest channel uh, out there is the Joshua Bardwell. Go there, okay, if Bardwell was talking about something, then most probably this is interesting. And then I open the feed and I see the naked Bardwell. And the moment when I saw a naked Bardwell on the thumbnail, I knew that something is going on. <laughs> Something interesting, tragic, stupid, and uh, not really like something that doesn't make sense happened, but yet it happened. If you turn on your Orca goggles after the date in the goggles is set after, or exactly, the 29th of the April 2023, the goggles will be bricked. The hardware we are buying should not be bricking itself only because the date is set to something. If something like that is happening, it's either that there is a huge problem with the hardware and someone like messed up and put something like super strange in the hardware like the RTC that cannot count above the 29 because they, they were just cheaper. But this is like... no. How? Usually you don't do something like that. Someone make a bug. Like, <laughs> developers are only people and we make different kind of the mistakes. I'm a software developer for the better part of my life. Like half of my life I'm living from the software development. And usually when uh, something like that, that the device is not turning on, uh, after a specific date, okay, somebody messed up, like a stupid thing, like it's super stupid, like uh, like not enough bits reserved to store the RTC, data structure like on the different place, something like memory uh, overlapping different memory region, it's a stupidity. It's absolute stupidity and uh, usually should be fixable. At, at least if you can make the device to boot. It looks bad on your resume of the successful projects. And let's be honest, the Orca goggles were considered a premium quality hardware. When your goggles are auto-bricked after the specific date, you really like... It, it's taking a heavy toll on your reputation. Uh, because your hardware should not be doing that. And then if you are able to resolve this problem quickly, kind of decides and in the future people will also think that your hardware is good quality. Uh, apparently Orca is like uh, fixing this thing by offering some kind of the, the solution. And then there is this aspect that someone was able to put a malicious code into your firmware. And don't get me wrong, this is even a bigger deal than most people think. If this is really a situation over here that asks a huge question of the quality of the work and the quality of the people that was put into the development of those goggles. We are starting to ask ourselves a question, how could that happen? We don't know, this is a speculation. So like, like we are guessing at the moment uh, that somebody uh, offered the firmware that kind of fixes the problem by shifting the bricked moment one year, one month or two months uh, forward. 
Uh, then the orca said, yeah, 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 flash it. Then they said, no, 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 don't flash it. It's a scammers. Then they released exactly the same uh, firmware because according to Bardwell and his video that the MD5 on both of the hexes is the same. So it's basically the same. And uh, what the fuck happened over there? Yes, this guy that released uh, a fix uh, and then offered this to the community really was a developer. He he made a he made a bug. He realized, oh man, I fucked up. Let's say as the moment of fixing the issue, I will just release the firmware to everyone so they can make their goggles work and then fantastic. But then why was it like moved? The deadline was moved forward two months instead to be fixed. Oh. <clears throat> If this is a check, then why not to remove the check? If this is like a memorial leak problem, why not to resolve the memorial leak? If we don't have enough of the bits for something, then why not to like change the type of the... Like, it's getting in this moment very interesting. There is an option that the company, the developer, the company, whatever, that uh, developed the bootloader for the... Uh, for the orcas wanted to protect their work because they were afraid they were not gonna get paid and then they added this routine into the boot louder uh, sometimes it's happening sometimes it's happening if i will not get paid then in the future the software will stop working i will be able to demand like compensation if i will be paid then i will release the next version of the software that will fix the problem nobody will realize but i don't believe it i don't get this i don't think this is this is this is really the case because of how many years passed apparently every orca out there is, can have this uh, problem how many years ago orca was released like four who would wait four years for this uh, dead hand device to kick in doesn't really make sense no it's not like if you want to do it like that you don't do it like that like why it's so stupid if like he wasn't paid then why he have not done anything if he was paid that he not uh, remove this condition like stupidity how did the software development process look like there so he just delivered hexes everyone flashed nobody like nobody did a code review like nobody checked what's inside of the code this is not how the modern software development is working i'm i, I know <laughs> I live of that. You have code reviews, you have processes, not very always very complicated. But having at least the second part of the eye looking at someone's work, it's like like it's it's the minimum you can do to have a good quality uh, code. So nobody took a look? Like how is that even possible? You always take a look. You don't that you don't trust, but uh, like we are only humans. We can like put different crap into the into the code. So he just delivered hexes and they released hexes and nobody like was like, uh, stupid it. Then theory that is the ransomware that some crypto scammers. Ransomware, okay, we have the ransomware. But still, one more time, how did ransomware guys were able to put the malicious code into the goggles? I would not target Orca to pay me crap because I don't think that they are very like super rich company that have millions of dollars available left and right. Why crypto scammer? What the fuck has a crypto to do with that? You cannot mine crypto on the goggles. They are just not powerful enough. Something uh, in the official narration doesn't really meet the, the situation we are having right now. And I don't understand what yet. Maybe we will know one day, maybe not, but this is huge. Uh, this is huge and it really asks a huge question about the premium quality of the Orca, Orca goggles. At least this priceless moment is here. We have a naked Bardwell. <laughs> it's a win for us. <laughs> What are your thoughts on this topic? Please drop them in the comments so we can have a nice discussion of why and how all the Erka FPV goggles got bricked. Now, here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this is FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!